I've found over the years that I had a number of creative patients that were active in the publishing field, the theater, uh, writers, painters. A lot of times these people get into a kind of frenzied creative period, like Van Gogh, for instance. He couldn't stop, but you know, he wound up in terrible straits, you know, cutting the ear off of somebody, suiciding, that type of thing. But a lot of times the creative people thrive uh, on this energy that they have, this souped up energy. They don't need to sleep and they have all this energy available. Now, not everybody that has this energy is creative and not everybody that's creative has the energy, but if you have the two together, you make the most of it. And you can turn out some wonderful and also some pretty absurd, crazy uh, paintings and novels and portraits and plays. What you have to do with these people is you gotta be careful about how much of their high you take away from how much of it you, you, don't, you don't meddle with. You let them stay a little bit on the high side. So usually in those cases, I would treat them with a smaller amount of medication, smaller amount of lithium. So you allow a little bit of the creative high to still be there instead of stamping it out.